Y'all, today is the day. I'm putting a wig on. I'm, I'm trying to do my own hair. I'm really nervous. This is going to be a step-by-step -step on how I am going to attempt to put on a wig. This isn't a tutorial. I've been watching girls install their wigs all day today, so hopefully I'll be able to do the same thing. I'm equipped enough, but I don't... I don't have like a hot comb. I really wish I had one to help like flatten the wig, but I'm gonna do the best that I can with what I have. I have not worn a wig since the last time I got it applied, which is in this picture right here. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my hair. Like I don't like to go nowhere looking crazy. So if my hair doesn't come out right, I'm snatching this wig off today. Okay? <laughs> so hopefully, fingers crossed that it comes out good. Anyways, this is what we're working with right now. I tried to apply Oh, I got so much dried up glue. He wiped it off. So I applied the cap the best that I could. I'm gonna try and like trim some of the pieces rolling up with these shears. But I put foundation on the cap. I just tried to do what I saw. This isn't the best job, I will say, but. I prepared for this whole process. I went all on my way and got the Bold Hold Active Glue. So I heard good things about it and I'm going to try. I saw like people dotting it. So I'm going to just do that. Oh, I like this little nozzle though. I'm gonna use this um, popsicle stick and I'm gonna just spread the glue. And then when it gets clear, that's mean that means it's ready for like another coat. So I'm gonna try to do that. <laughs> I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. I really don't. Alright, so I'm gonna let this get tacky and we're gonna add another layer so that it's nice and tacky. I'm actually going to Ooh, I know it looks like it's in shambles right now, but this is the wig. I'm gonna just tell y'all a little bit about the wig before. Why this dries up a little bit. So this is the wig, I got it from Icy Hair. I honestly don't remember which wig it was. Honestly, I've had it for so long now that I, I seriously don't even remember what the link is to the wig, but if I just recall it, then I'll put that in the description box. But I see it just has really good quality hair. Um, my wig is already customized. I believe the wig came customized a little bit already, but because I, I did get this wig installed by a hairstylist already, I already have it customized. And she did a great job at customizing it, and it's so blended. Like, it's just, it's scalp, honey. I'm going to try, I'm going to just sit this back here. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so now I'm going to go on with the second layer and just kind of repeat. to get clear and then we're going to add the third layer and then once that gets tacky then we'll install the wig. I remember how many inches this was. I want to say, what do y'all think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember nothing about this 
wig i really don't but i just remember when i got it installed i was like yes ma'am it was so pretty i just loved it and i just thought maybe since it's already customized you know the hard part is over and now i can just throw it on my head and have a whole vibe you know honey this glue ain't playing so y'all this is my first time properly like going through the whole process properly like installing a wig like i've thrown a wig on before but never worn it out because of course i just it wasn't that good to wear out to me because like i told y'all my hair gonna be on point for me to move the house this will be like technically my first time installing a wig to the like down to having the glue um doing the cap all that like other wigs i just threw a cap on or i didn't and i just put it on i don't know if y'all remember like this is a long time ago but i did do a video on this channel with a closure wig which i was really proud of because I, I feel like i really got it flat and it just looked pretty realistic for the most part and then i did one with a frontal wig but that wasn't my best i did wear that a wig in a video and i dyed it Anyways, like I was saying, I dyed that wig honey blonde. So that was my first time actually dyeing a wig. And I was pretty... I mean, it wasn't bad for a first time. I think I did pretty good. That was my first time having a frontal wig. And that's when I fell in love. But I just was not the best at installing it. And I tried my best. And I kind of just gave up on it. But I feel like if I would have kept at it when I started, I feel like I would be able to... Um, properly wear a wig and then we're gonna go in with the third layer for the fine slash hard part it's the baby ears and thank goodness she already kind of did them so I'm just going to brush the hair out see this side the baby ears look really good but this side I need to kind of doctor them a little bit because it feel I feel like they look a little sparse so I'm gonna just part Like here, a little bit here, and then take down a little bit for sideburns, but not too much. Cause I like really like light and wispy baby hairs. All right, so I have this little eyebrow face razor kind of thing that I got from the beauty supply. 
and I'm going to just shorten those pieces that I pulled out. Oh, she ain't glued down. Hold on. I got too much going on. I'm going to just shorten these little pieces to make my baby hairs appear a little more natural. Even my sideburns, I'm going to get them. I really like the look of sideburns. I just feel like it completes your look. Okay, so I'm gonna just start on my baby hairs on this side. Um, I don't have any foam, so maybe I can do a little bit of this Aussie Living Conditioner. No, because I feel like the water will like lift the lace up. Can I use the edge control for weeks? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna just try it. We'll fix that. <laughs> Just brush down the little baby hairs. I'm gonna try doing it with like, I'm gonna try it with the spray. Cause I'm gonna just see. I have forgot all about getting foam and stuff when I was buying everything I needed to do this. But I mean, it's not a necessity. Like you don't, you don't have to have it. I'm gonna put my scarf on my edges to try to like keep them laid down. Okay, so I'm gonna start brushing this out. I still don't know if I'm gonna like just keep it straightened or curl it, but we'll see once it's all done. But y'all, I'm gonna just, it's all right, nothing much to it. Oh, this is really cute. 